Hi everyone, Michelle Kunz here, your nurse educator. Today I'd like to show you an app that I found that replaces the heavy, heavy defibrillator. This app can show you EKGs, it can show you how to uh, role model a code right in a classroom. So as an ACLS and a PALS, and even if you're an NRP instructor, you can use this app to help facilitate your classes. So it's a wonderful app, and I really want to show everybody what the benefit of this app is. It's only a few dollars um, when you search for your apps. It's called Dart Sim, so D-A-R-T-S-I-M. So it's a great, a great app that you could use on your iPad. Uh, you could even download it to your iPhone. What's uh, the advantage to the iPhone? They even sell um, an app that is a remote control for this. So you could change rhythms and even the vital signs right from your phone as your class is watching your demonstration. So let me just show you what this app is and you'll appreciate it much as I do. I use it in every one of my advanced cardiac life support classes and pediatric advanced life support classes. So it has a lot of features on here that you could see. It has certainly the rhythm. It has the heart rate. You could use it to show basic arrhythmias as you change the function. So there's numbers over here that go from like a normal sinus rhythm to a bradycardia to a tachycardia and so on. So there's about 25 rhythms on here. And what you'd also, for a few extra dollars, you could download scenarios that the whole screen lights up with different functions. Um, there's a you know, non-invasive blood pressure cuff on here, and it's, it's kind of funny. You can hear it cycling and make noise. I have the sound off now, but if there is an alarm to go off or it starts to alarm, you'll hear those sounds. So if our patient is in a a deadly arrhythmia it is very obvious and very realistic the noises that it will make so what I've done to make this convenient for my classroom is I bought this cover uh, which has a handle in the back so I can simply do whatever I need to do to get to the sounds I can show it around the room to the classroom it has other features that we could use such as a synchronized cardioversion button if we were in a rhythm that required such treatment. So there's a sync button and it flashes on the R wave. Of course we can get to the alarms again. It, it has um, opportunities to change the joules. So if I'm at 150 now, I'm going to go down to 50, synchronized, charge it up, I'm clear, oxygen's clear, three were all clear, shock delivered. So it simulates arrhythmias and treatments, could you unsynchronize cardioversion, and you might have already noticed there's a pacemaker button. So if we were in a heart block rhythm, I might need the pacemaker. So there's a pacemaker and it comes on with a setting with a heart rate and the milliampers and I could press the pacemaker on and the pacemaker will fire maybe not capture right away so there's opportunities to learn how to work a pacemaker how to work a, a defibrillator how to uh, work with the vital signs here and another option on here is scenarios and you could see it comes up with a whole list and their website is very helpful so Dart Sim, you know, tells you about scenarios. You can add and make your own scenarios, which I don't think it's that difficult to do. And I'm still learning how to work with these scenarios. It goes from ACLS into pediatric advanced life support and even NRP scenarios. So it's fully loaded to help you in any of your classes. So if you're an instructor for any of those classes, or you need to simulate uh, rhythms and scenarios in a classroom setting. It enables you the freedom from heavy devices. It also allows you to walk around the classroom where everybody can touch the screen. 
uh, rather than crowding around a defibrillator until you're ready to do a mock code. And this could simply be on a stand and you could use this as a defibrillator in the classroom. There's other um, options here to show or hide blood pressures, um, oxygen saturation. It even has a CO2 waveform capnography on here. So it really is an up-to-date app to help you in all the classrooms. I hope to come back and show you how to use some of the scenarios. So look forward to some of those vid videos. And I hope you get an opportunity to look at the DARP SIM app application and use it in your classrooms as well because it's really an enjoyable app and it makes the class fun and keeps everybody um, in attention. So thank you for your time. I'll see you soon.